I'm going to talk about God's comfort on today. Amen. God's comfort. Mm -hmm. Listen to the words found in Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. The New International Version of Scripture says, As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. God's comfort. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Isaiah 66, 13. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. God's comfort. Church, understand that God sent Isaiah to the people of Israel and Judah to declare their sins and the consequences of their sins. These people, they were often in conflict with the Lord. These people, they were rebelling against the Lord and the Lord's laws. They, they rejected even the very love of God. So then God sent Isaiah and he told Isaiah to preach to these people. Even though the people would actually ignore Isaiah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being sent on an assignment only to be ignored? I mean, can you, can you imagine such an assignment? I would imagine that on today, this Mother's Day 2024, I believe that there are mothers who know what it feels like to be ignored. Ignore. Take out the trash. Did you finish your homework? Did you do your chores like I asked you to? Did you complete the assignments that I gave you? Did, did you hear what I said? Oh, motherhood itself. Over and over. Say the same thing and still being ignored. Motherhood itself can be an ignored assignment. Well, church, this must have been the way that Isaiah felt. I mean, no matter how Isaiah would deliver the message, he would still be ignored. Wow. It could be a topical sermon. <laughs> ignored. It could be a expository sermon. He would still be ignored. A narrative sermon. It could be a textual sermon. Isaiah would still be ignored. Yet, church, he had to deliver the message that God gave him anyhow. Uh -huh. All right. The fact of the matter is, when God gives you an assignment, you must complete it anyhow. Right. They may not like you, right. but you have to complete the assignment anyhow. Right. They may talk about you, right. but you have to complete the assignment anyhow. Yeah. They may not like the way you say it, uh -huh. but you have to complete the assignment anyhow. Isaiah had an anyhow assignment. Uh -huh. For over 40 years, he'd send these people messages. Mm -hmm. Messages to call them back to repentance so that they can return to following God. But still, he would be ignored. Uh -huh. But I love the fact that when we reach Isaiah chapter 66, this portion of the message, I love its power. This portion of Isaiah's message is really powerful in the way that Isaiah presents a particular aspect of God's personhood. Uh -huh. You see, when you look at Isaiah chapter 66, when you just look at verse 13, looking at this, Isaiah reveals a characteristic of God, a particular characteristic of God using feminine imagery. Understand, church, though, that Isaiah is not the only place in the Holy Bible where we find people using feminine imagery when considering characteristics of God. If you flip over to, for example, Hosea, yeah, the prophet Hosea. Oh, Hosea explains what God is like using feminine imagery. Hosea in 13.8 says God is described like a mother bear. Like a bear robbed of her cubs, yeah. I will attack them and tear them asunder. Uh -huh. All feminine imagery is yeah. found throughout the Bible. If you flip over to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 11 and 12, God is described as a mother eagle. Uh -huh. 
like the eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young. God spreads wings to catch you and carries you on pinions. Oh, in the Bible. Yes, Lord. If you stay right there in Deuteronomy chapter 32, if, if you look even at verse 18, God who gives birth. Uh -huh. You were unmindful of the rock that bore you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. Wow. Yes. So now we are in Isaiah chapter 66 verse 13 and we find that just as even grown children uh -huh. take comfort in the love that that's provided by mothers, we take comfort uh -huh. in the yes. forgiveness of sins yes. given to us yes. by our God. Yes. Church, God comforts. Yes. The prophets yes. of the prophet Isaiah's words are encouraging to these people. Right. His words are encouraging because his words reveal to them that they can't outgrow God's comfort. Yes, Lord. I said they can't outgrow Thank you, sir. God's comfort. You see, in chapter 66, Israel is presented as all grown up. Uh -huh. And you know how we act when we grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever heard a mother say, you think you're grown, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, and by the time we reach Isaiah 66, they're all grown up. And what's interesting, church, is like children who grow up and rebel against their parents, uh -huh. Israel didn't listen. Their sins were many. Consist of things like uh, injustice. They didn't listen. They were just like grown up rebellious children. They, their sin consists of oppression and a lack of concern for those in need. You see, if you flip back through Isaiah, you will find that they were accused of many things. They were those who grind their face against the poor. And they took bribes and they were depriving the innocent of their rights. They were speaking lies. Uh -huh. if, a, if an Israelite opened their mouth, mm -hmm. if their mouth was moving, they were probably lying. Yeah. <laughs> their feet, they ran to evil and they, they rushed to shed innocent blood. Even their very thoughts. The Israelites, their thoughts were thoughts of destruction. Their thoughts were thoughts of desolation. Their thoughts were thoughts of iniquity. Oh, but yet and see, uh -huh. they cannot outgrow uh -huh. God's comfort. Uh -huh. And that's good news for us today. The reason why they weren't able to outgrow God's comfort is because God is the same regardless of what we do or what we don't do. Oh, God's comfort. That we praise God for who God is. Yeah. We praise God for who God is. When they say that, they mean that despite our disobedience, despite our turning away from God, despite us thinking that we're so grown now that we don't have to follow the precepts of the Bible, God remains the same. We praise God because of who God is. We praise God because you know that when you didn't listen, God still listens to you.
us that God can't soothe and sympathize. Oh, I know that a mom can soothe and sympathize, but can't nobody do you like Jesus? God! 
that God comes. Even if it's embarrassing. Even if it's embarrassing. God is not like human beings. Even if it's embarrassing, you must remember that God comes. You know, I, I remember being embarrassed as a young person. I remember being mighty embarrassed. You see, I was a young bedwetter. Oh, you didn't think I was going to share that much, did you? <laughs> May as well be honest in church in the pulpit. I was a young bedwetter. And now I have to tell you that that thing was embarrassing. Now I understand that, you know, the bladder is a muscular organ that children learn to control. They learn to control. Much like learning uh, to walk and learning to control the leg muscles. But still, I had a hard time and I was embarrassed. I have to tell you, my dad was hard on me. I mean, really hard. My dad was in the military. Thank you for praying for the military. That was a good prayer this morning. The military. My dad was in the army. Uh -huh. And so he had a particular way to do all kinds of things. Yes. Well, and oh, whenever I would wet that bed, I would be afraid. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I would be afraid. And my dad, he was hard on me. But I can tell you that my mom comforted me. All right. All right. You see, I wanted to hide my sheets, but she loved me through it. <laughs> I remember I wanted to talk badly and I think badly about myself, but she loved me through it. I thought it was something I could never overcome, but she loved me through it. And you need to know today that you, 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 you have to know that like a caring mother, there's nothing you could ever do that God can't love you. I said there's nothing you could ever do that God can't love you through. Jesus rose on the third day. Uh -huh. 